Kingdom Kids! Welcome back to another wonderful Monday Night with Highest Praises YouTube channel. As you know, we are continuing our Unbox series. We've been having so much fun and giving out some really cool stuff. So make sure you are telling your friends to watch because if they participate, they can win cool stuff too. Because remember, it's all about toys, toys, toys. Also, make sure you're staying to the very end because we will be revealing who is winning our Spider-Man Far From Home pop figure. Now, let's go ahead and see where our houses are at. In fourth place, we have House Rome with 35 points. In third place, we have House Persia with 42 points. In second place, we have House Babylon with 78 points. And in first place, we have House Greece with 114 points. Great job, guys. Our memory verse today is brought to you by Josiah and Ava. Take it away, guys. The grass withers, the flowers fade. But the word of God stands forever. Isaiah 40. And guess what time of the year it is? That's right, it's time to go back to school. Back to that big wide place where you can get all of your education. A quite an adventure. Here we go. Now it is time to open our first box. Let's see what we have today. That is so, so cute. It is Hello Kitty and Friends sticky notes. And if you open it, you have all these little different sticky notes and some cute little places to put bigger notes. Make sure when you're in school that you have some sticky notes so you can pay attention really good in class. Yeah, so school looks a little different this year, but you're still gonna have fun and learn new things and make tons of new friends. How do I um, show my face? Mom? Um, hi, my name's Nicole and my favorite animal is a kitty cat. Oh, oh, they can't hear me. Oh. Hi. Uh, hold on. What? Okay, that leads us to our second box already. Ooh, it's a special gold box. You know what that means. Can you guess what it is? Crayons. Oh, these are multicultural crayons. You see all the different skin tones in there? And there's three of them. So you know what that means? Three separate Kingdom Kids are going to get these crayons. So make sure you participate this week. That's what's so beautiful about making new friends and having so many new people around you. We're all just one big box of crayons that God uses to color the whole world. One day, a man was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho, minding his own business, when suddenly he was attacked by robbers, and they stole everything, and they beat him up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. And they took everything, and they left him to die. The poor 
poor man had been laying there left for dead for hours when a priest passed by. Surely a person of the Lord will help this man. Next, a Levite passed by, a priest in training. Surely this Levi who's training will help this poor, poor man? So then, next came a Samaritan man. Now this could turn out really bad because Samaritan and Jews hate, hate each other. What is he doing? Oh my gosh, he's probably gonna hurt that. Is he helping him? Oh my goodness, this is unseen in history. Samaritans and Jews usually hate each other and he's actually helping that poor man. He's giving him something to drink. Wow, that is the most caring thing I have ever seen. So the Samaritan man took the Jewish man to the nearby sun-kissed hotel down the street and told the hotel lady to take care of him and feed him and he'll pay for everything. Wow, that is so nice. Now who do you think did the right thing? The priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? That's right, it was the Samaritan. That's why the story is called the Good Samaritan because he was good even though nobody expected him to be. And that's how you need to be all the time. Be good to people and be Christian-like to people all the time, even if it's not what's expected of you. Luke chapter 10, verses 36 through 37 says, Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He replied, The one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, Go and do likewise. So we're supposed to be nice to people who are different than us too, and strangers that we don't know. Not just our friends and our cousins, but to everybody. Let's see if Brother Chris and Sister Luce can figure it out. Chris, I can't believe that you kept your pool with Vicky. If she treated me like that, I would put her in her place. She got some nerve. Patty, I think you're overreacting a tad. Vicky may have been having a bad day. I don't care if her home life is a mess or that her boyfriend is. Stop, Patty. I don't want to talk gossip about Vicky or talk about her behind her back. What? Vicky just got done treating you like dirt in the school cafeteria. And now you're sticking up for her? Then you tell me not to gossip? Whose side are you on, anyway? Take it easy, Patty. I try not to talk about anyone behind their back. I do plan on talking to Vicky to see if I can help her get her problems worked out. But the school cafeteria just wasn't the right time or place. I just don't see how you can be so nice to her. My best friend taught me. What, some more of that Jesus stuff? Yes, exactly. You see, when I asked Jesus to forgive me and to become the Lord of my life, he did. The Holy Spirit changed my whole outlook on a lot of things. I tried to treat others the way I would like them to treat me. I just don't know, Chris. Although I have, no, I have noticed a big change in the way you've been acting ever since you said you got saved. At first I thought you were just like trying to like the part, you know, trying to change under your own strength. But lately I think you were just really have become a new person. You just prophesied scripture, Patty. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, it states, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. 
I'm starting to think that I might be something to this Jesus thing. I hold a Bible study on Thursday nights at 7 if you want to come. Yeah, I think I will. Thanks. Whatever it is you have, I want to learn more about it. If you want to, we can talk more about Jesus right now, or you can come by my house tonight at 7. Which would you prefer? If you have time, I would love to hear more about Jesus right now. Sure, nothing's more important. Let's go sit on that bench over there. You see, it does make a difference how we live and how we act. If we say Jesus is Lord, but we act just like the rest of the world, we send a deadly message. If people see you get drunk, smoke, curse, or gossip, and then hear you say, I am a Christian, you send the message that all these worldly things are okay. Don't act like the world. Let your light shine in the darkness and help some captives. So you're saying, even if I have a blue crayon and a green crayon and a brown crayon, I can still make a beautiful picture? Wow, I can't wait to work with others. And if we struggle with stuff like that, we should ask God to transform us. Brother Adrian and Sister Ariana are gonna show us how God can transform us. Amanda's so loud and obnoxious, she doesn't even know how to dress. But when we go through transformation, this is what happened when we go through transformation. Amanda should learn about God. Yeah, we should pray for her. The scriptures say, 1 Peter first, 15 and 16, but as he which is called you holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Nice job. So if I'm understanding correctly, every time someone sees me, I want them to say, wow, Jesus is with her. Turn to the person next to you and say, wow, Jesus is with you. Okay, it is time for our last box of the day. <gasps> Another gold one. So you know what that means. Someone has a chance to get this too. The Fube. Wow. It is a fidget cube, and it's got all kinds of really cool fidgets. And this will help you stay focused in class. So make sure you do this week's task because you have a chance to win our cool little cube as well as those multicultural crayons. All right, let's head on over to my place and worship God. <laughs>
back to school. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a back to school picture with your backpack, your school supplies, your tablet, your laptop, whatever. Take a back to school picture and send it to me and that will be your name in for the raffle for the cool multicultural crayons and the cool few. Okay, so we had a couple participants send in their task. So we're gonna see who is gonna get the Spider-Man pop. Are you ready? Okay, getting the Spider-Man pop is Savannah! Congratulations, Savannah! All right, it's bonus point wheel time, so let's see who's getting those points this time. Babylon, it's all you! All right, we had a good time today, so now it's time to say goodbye. So let's bow our heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much, God, for that great lesson we had, learning how we should treat people with respect, treat them with love, just like you would treat them, Lord. And help us as we go back to school with this distance learning, God, that you would just help us to learn and have fun and be able to pay attention, God, and give you all the glory and be a good example of what a Christian should look like at school. We love you. We thank you for everything we've done. In Jesus' name, amen. See you guys next Monday.